¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? Ah! Are you doing that for a reason? Who the hell are you? What are you talking about? My dress. Stay back. Why are you acting crazy? Oh my God. Did we? Practice safe sex, a whole box full. Oh, are you saying you don't remember anything? No. No, no. The shower? Against the wall? Oh. The time you got out of force and commanded me to... No, I do not remember any of that. Oh, my God. All I remember is that I came to Mexico to get married to Brian. Something. At the hotel. Something. God. We did it in the shower? Twice. Well, that explains why my quads are sore. This can't be happening! I'm getting married tomorrow! You got married last night! To who? To me! Hotel is. It's in the touristy area. Get off my train. Give me my keys. This is a $4,000 Monatello Serrano. The satin is Duchess. Well, this jeep cost almost as much. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Sure, sure. Just gotta bring it. Cardio kickboxing. I had to lose 12 and a half pounds for the big day. Yeah, because if you only lost 12, you would have looked huge. Where are you going? To my wedding. Didn't we just establish that I'm your husband? Prove it. What is that? Jesus. Nothing. Handle! Oh! Or what? Child. Oh, I'm not the one jumping up and down. <laughs> Teach you not to mess with a girl who hasn't had a carb in half a year. Okay. A wedding license with my signature. Okie dokie. Uh, excuse me? Hello? Now you believe me? Look. Carlos, I have worked two years to make my wedding perfect. And right now, there is a groom, 200 guests, my bridesmaids, and one extremely high-strung mother, all wondering where the hell I am. And I'm not gonna let some completely out of character one night stand mess everything up. Are you really saying you don't remember anything that happened last night? Yes. But I can tell you what I foresee in a moment. So get in. Llévala que me trajo. No entiendo lo que está pasando aquí. Todo era mentira. Una locura total. This is crazy. I'm not going anywhere until you take a moment to clear your head and realize why we got married. Carlos, honey, I'm sorry. It's just not every day that I wake up next to Latin Adonis without any memory of the night before. So, come on, let's, let's work this out. Come on. Now you're making sense. Si, senor. What are you going to do? Drag me down the street? Hey, Melissa! Please! Crazy American! 
I'm about to be married. I'm supposed to be crazy. What? You're not even curious to know what happened last night? Everything between my hips and thighs is completely numb. I'm pretty sure I have a clue about what happened last night. And where do we get this thing? What? You don't remember? Oh, oh, oh. here it is. 147 Los Gatos. And what's your abuelo? Go! I take it Brian must usually do the driving. What do you know about Brian? Just that you called up the wedding to him. What? I would never do that. That is insanity. I like think this day is going to be one. Ooh, there it is. Well, you don't use the brakes. Stay here. Good plan. And you know, these cars look better on you. I'm not even into that stuff. And you waste their candle wax all over my rug. Liar. <laughs> there are way too many siestas in this country. Heard that. Hey, what are you doing? Voila. No, 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 no. Hey, that's not a good idea. I'm gonna find their copy of our license. No. And destroy it. Okay, seriously? We do have laws here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, people. No. Be careful. Dios mío, me muero por conocer a su familia. Ow. I hate Mexico. Two nails, one on each limb, I am ready to kill. Didn't really fit the plan, huh? How do you know about the plan? The five-year plan? You marry Brian, help him make law partner, then quit your job, move to Connecticut and have babies. Oh, and a puppy. Cocker Spaniel was it? Springer Spaniel, they shed less. Brian has allergies. Yes, of course. Yes, I have a five-year plan. I also have a 10-year plan and a six-month plan, and this doesn't really fit into any of them. I never planned for life. It's done wonders for you this morning. Uh, that's Edwina talking. I told you about my mother. Oh my god, my mother. Oh my god, if she finds out about this, she'll cripple me. Breathe deep. Oh my god. Stay calm. Oh my god. Mantra. Mantra. What are you doing? I'm meditating. Your mantra is, is mantra? It's a very soothing word. <sighs> My shoes. You. Um, give me my shoes. Gracias por los zapatos. What did she say? Uh, thank you very much for the shoes. They're really breaking in. What? I would never Give her my Stuart Weitzman's. They are dyed to match. Dyed to match? The color of the shoe matches the color of the dress exactly. I had to send them back three times. Does no one understand the term tooth for a white? Get? Look, last night after we got married, we saw this old lady. She didn't have shoes. It was a sweet thing to do. Sweet? Who the hell allowed me to be sweet? OK. Yo, Tango? My shoes o need them back o. See? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. <laughs> this is funny. Little help. <clears throat> la novia, en verdad, es una bruja gringa. Es la vieja del chamuco. Come gente y le encantan las carnachas. Ella la ve y cree que usted es un rico taquito. <laughs> Mejor dele los zapatos. Vieja loca. Ah, she says you are very pretty and skinny. Oh, that's so sweet. Gracias. Gra gracias. Aha, typical New Yorker. I always put something in my shoe. 50,000 pesos. Wait, that's not a lot, is it? Only about $4,000. $4,000? Why would I spend $4,000 at... 
about Miko? You went to that part of town. <laughs> Yikes. <clears throat> we have to go there. Spending all that money may be a clue as to why I lost my mind. Oh, we should go to the place where we met. Like this, it will jog your memory and you'll realize That's why we got married. I don't care if we put on a donkey show. I don't want to know how we met. I don't want to know where we met. I just want to get back to my life. We didn't put on a donkey you show. I went here by myself. I guess so. It was before we met. This is spousal abuse. How would you feel if you inadvertently married and bedded a stranger? At least it's not premarital sex. I'm gonna need your help in that. Will you come on? I thought we were making progress. We will make progress when you remember. Maybe you should wait for me in the Jeep. I see you have a new friend. I won't ask. Um, why did I spend 50,000 pesos here? When a pretty girl starts buying everybody drinks, word gets around. I must have been so... Las Lomas. It will go away. Eventually. Maybe. Probably not. She drank tequila de las Lomas? I, I thought that stuff was a myth. What, tequila de la, what are you guys talking about? I, I, supposedly the Mayans had some drink that brought out the true essence of a person's soul so they could face the gods in a pure state. Hmm. Before they cut out your heart and hell it up for the crowd. Of course, nobody really cares about all that crap anymore. They just drink it to forget. Forget what? Whatever it is they don't like to remember. Short-term memory eraser. So I drank Mayan moonshine? Why would I do that? When a girl comes in wearing a wedding dress and crying, I don't ask questions. What is wrong with you? If I saw a girl wearing a wedding dress and crying, all I would do is ask questions. Uh, uh, I almost forgot. You left something here. What the hell happened last night? Why was I crying? I hate crying. Hey, you weren't crying when I met you. You said you felt free for the first time in your life. You were dancing on tables. That's so dangerous. That's what you felt. But I can't. That's how we met. Really? Thank you. Are you going to freak out on me again? Only if I have to. My veil! Oh, it's imported from Italy. Why would you leave your veil here? Or more importantly, why would you be wearing a Ricardo Montalban dress to a place like this? Monatello, Serrano. Besides, didn't I tell you when we met? You said you were looking for a husband. That was the forgetty juice talking. You told me you just came from a fitting, senorita. I went from my fitting to here? Okay, I don't want to know another detail. Thank you very much. There we go. The Fairmont. I am getting married at the Fairmont. Oh my God, oh, thank you. Okay, it's all starting to come back to me. Now, if there are no more surprises, I would like to get to my wife. Uh, there is just one more, actually. How are you going to explain to your mother the tattoo you got on your ass? Just kidding. <laughs> Good. 
I know where my hotel is. I could drop my dress off, get it clean, get an old, and be back in time for the wedding. I can't believe you were still going through with the wedding. Why wouldn't I? I mean, it's my day. You're not even curious why you were crying last night? I'm a girl. I cry. It's what we do. I'm getting my period soon. In three weeks. Okay, yes. I am curious about what happened. Ah, see, now this is normal. You're not curious enough to throw away everything I've been planning for my entire life. Then why the hell did you marry me? Why the hell did you marry me? I married someone else. And I'd really like to know if she's going to show up because I have better things to do than to be chained with the bridezilla, with the plan. What does that mean? It means that last night we have la, 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 I'm not listening to you. La, 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 stop talking. Look, forget it, right? Let's just get this annulment over with. Really? Yes, yes, do it right. Okay? I mean, you can't give up your life, right? Your, your plan. Right. For, for me. I was crazy to think this would work out. Let's just get in the jeep and get this over. Really? De veras. Does that mean really? Close enough. Great! What a relief! Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. For what? For this. Give me the keys, Carlos. Not until you try to remember what happened last night. I don't care about what happened last night. All I care about is getting out of this marriage so I can get married! Yeah, well, that's right, because it's your day. Uh-huh. You think you can catch me? Huh? I prefer to cut you loose. You have this much fun with Brian, or you're too busy making a plan. I wish. I had a divorce lawyer here. So I wouldn't have to speak to you! Get up! No. Carlos, I have to get to my hotel, and you are coming with me. What are you going to do? Drag me again? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Please, I need to re-strategize. Can I have a timeout? Please. Uh, uh, Still got your cardio for the day, huh? I'll give you cash. Then one cash. I want a fair trial. Court's closed. You're free to go. Okay. Well, looks like what we have here is a classic Mexican standoff. Do you want to guess who has the advantage? This isn't funny. Neither is this. Don't kiss me. Nice. Really delayed reaction. If I let you get away with that, Will you come with me? I'm starting to understand how this game works. I will come with you. But only because I know your memory will return. And to be there when it happens. Why? You'll see. Okay, I'm gonna be back in like 10 minutes. You're not going to Valley Park me. Don't worry, I'll give the guy a good tip. That's what I am afraid of. Oh, no. Where is it? You lost the key on purpose. Are you crazy? Yeah, you don't want to lose me, it's obvious. Shut up, help me find it. <laughs> I think I would remember if you stuck it up there. Can you take the situation seriously? Why, it's funny. Move your arm, move your arm. 
Oh my god. What is this? A sculpture. Art. It's beautiful. It's yours. I can't take this. You already did. Did I say thank you? What do you think? Oh, felicidades. Gracias, senor. Yes, we're very happy together. No, no, we're not married. I was just um, taking my dress for a test drive stir. Where? Yeah. He's my seamster. It looked much better before we made love on the beach in the rain. <laughs> we did not make love on the beach in the rain. Well, I don't know if I would call it making love either. I mean, she plays rough this one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, what are you guys laughing about? He's screams out his mother's name when he orgasms. That gave me pause. Okay. I'm gonna have to bring you upstairs with me. If my mother sees us, you're gonna be attached to a dead bride. And then people will really start asking questions. Got it? Unfortunately. And don't say anything stupid, or just don't talk at all. Uh, maybe I should hold on to this. You might lose it. <laughs> hey, Bobby! Let's move. Move, move, move. Melissa and Sanders, welcome to Mexico. Aunt Susan. Mm. Uncle Peter. Oh my God. What on earth happened to your Manatola Serrano? Endurance tests. Did you just get in? We're here two hours and I'm already into the emodium. Great. Well, I will see you two at the rehearsal center. Uncle Peter. And Susan, it is so what nice to finally meet you. I don't think we've met. And I would never forget something so strapping. He's my hairstylist. Not Matt. Fine. Hair designer. You know how uppity the gays get when it comes to titles. Oh. Come, Carlos. <sighs> Senorita Sanders, I've been looking for you. Rita Mendez, guest relations. Oh, right. Nice to see you. No, wait, wait. We need to talk about the message you left last night. What message? Uh, about canceling the wedding. You canceled the wedding? I wonder why you would do that. No, no, I didn't cancel any wedding. There's been a huge mistake. Really? Then can you explain this? Cancellation a both. race that message. The wedding is on. It was never off. How's that for confusion? You know what moody bitches as brides can be. Hey, I have some idea. Mm -hmm. Were you with me when I left that message? Didn't you tell? Huh? <laughs> One. Quick. Kimmy. Isn't it awful? Oh, don't let Mother see that. Where is she? Arriving any minute. I'm Carlos. Whoa. You're hot. Yeah, I'm your brother-in-law. No, he's not. He's just some random Mexican guy I'm handcuffed. <laughs> uh, it's kinky. Not kinky. Kinky. Um, mm -hmm. Do I need to be worried about you? You show up chained to some Mexican guy. Nobody's seen Brian all day. What? He was supposed to host the groomsman's breakfast. Brian missed his own groomsman's breakfast? I wonder why he would do that, unless he thought that the wedding was canceled. I'm sure he's just hungover. In the bath. Are we really going to become one of those couples that goes in front of each other? I need to change my clothes. Good thing I haven't seen before. Yeah. Oh my god, did you have sex with that incredible? 
probably a hot man. If not, can I? Even if you did, can I? No, I did not have sex with him. Okay, maybe once. Or a hundred times. I honestly have no memory of it at all. You'd actually sleep with a guy I already had sex with? Oh, please, like it hasn't happened before. What? I mean, oh my god, I can't believe you. It gets worse. Apparently, I also married him. Why would you do that? Because she loves me. Melissa, you have to get this taken care of before Mother walks in. I know. Because if you don't, she'll kill you, and there'll be nobody else to absorb her craziness, and we'll all be focused on me, and I'm not a strong person. I'll break. Okay, calm down. One more minute, and we're out of here. Why the hell didn't anyone break me? Starting to think I'm standing down here getting hit on by every Mexican geriatric under the sun. Oh, my God, it's her. I slept with Kenny Donahue. Wait, you on your prom date? Yeah, I'm sorry. But if she kills you, I didn't want to have that on my conscience. It's too dangerous. What the hell is going on with you two? Mommy, how was your flight? Horrible. I was sitting next to this awful nine-year-old girl who kept going on and on and on about how she was visiting her father who she hadn't seen in a year because he'd been fighting in Iraq and blah, 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 blah. Oh, finally, I had to give her two beers just to get her to slur herself to sleep. <laughs> great story. Hey, have you seen the saltwater pool? It's great for wrinkles. Which doesn't apply to you. Let me up. What was that? The walls are like paper in this hotel. Great. Just what I need with my trouble sleeping. Well, at least I brought some extra Ambien. What is with you two? Now come on and help me unpack. You know how I hate packing and unpacking and traveling. Something is going on. No, there's no, not. What are you hiding? And don't lie. What would we hide? Why would we lie? I can always tell when you're lying, ever since you slid out of the womb. Well, not you, Mrs. Sarian. You didn't slide, just cutting. Cutting and scarring. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, hopefully I won't cut you out of the will on purpose. Clearly, you two have some issues to work out. Why don't you go to the spa? Ma! Rape! <laughs> Ooh, stop it! Stop it. A Mexican oh, pervert. A hot Mexican pervert. What do we do? Mrs. Saunders, I'm Carlos Fuentes. Melissa's no husband. Did he say husband? No! No! Busband! Busband! It's a Mexican thing! It means handcuff servant! Wow, I'm a bad liar. All right, someone is gonna tell me what the hell is going on right now! It wasn't my fault. Somehow, I just... I accidentally married him. You what? It's a total fixable mistake. I drank some kind of Mayan moonshine, and we... hooked up. Or something. It's, it's no biggie. You trying to tell me you got loaded and laid the day before your wedding? Who do you think you are, me? You cheated on daddy the day before your wedding? Don't you bring your father into this. God rest his soul. What do you think he would say if he saw you chained to this nearly naked Mexican man? I'm wearing clothes. That leave nothing to the imagination. I can practically see your religion and it, it lists to the left. Ew. Didn't you even think of our 10-year plan, Melissa? No one knows a thing. We're going to get an old, and I'm going to be back in plenty of time for the rehearsal dinner. It's not just about the rehearsal dinner. There's so many other things to think of. You, what about the 200 guests and Brian? Did you even think about that? No, what a shock. I'm going to have to do everything. Well, thanks for ruining my perfect wedding. Excuse me? Doesn't anyone think that Melissa getting married the day before her wedding is kind of a sign that there is trouble in paradise? Come here, honey. Let me look into your eyes. Oh, thank you. Do not get in the way of my Connecticut grandbabies. Mother! Now get out of here and get this thing annulled before I run out of hairspray. Go on! Go! I'm really sorry about the hairspray. I warned you that my mother was kind of overwhelming. Okay, a lot overwhelming. She's a crazy bitch. God, I'm not as bad as her, am I? Well, you haven't sprayed any hair products directly into my cornea. Yeah, let me take a look. Come here. Oh, 
My God! Hey, no, you can warn me before you start Excuse walking. me. Excuse me. I thought no one knew the wedding was canceled. I don't know. Then why are you carting away my Oriental Casablanca lilies? I don't know. These are supposed to be kept in a refrigeration room or else they'll wilt. What is the meaning of dragging them out here in the sun? The sun will kill them. And then I will kill you. I don't know. Do you know a single thing? Uh, what I think he's saying is he doesn't speak English. Por qué te llevas esas cosas de aquí? Pues according to Torre de Boros nos dijo. Because the wedding coordinator told him to. Claire told you? I'm gonna kill her. Melissa, listen. Melissa, Melissa, wait, 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 wait. Before we go kill your wedding planner, let me have your phone. I have a cousin who's a locksmith, I'm gonna get these handcuffs off. No way, not until after we're annulled. Melissa, in the past two hours, I have been kicked, tackled, and maced. This is crazy. And you're just gonna have to trust me. Trust. Remember, it's what a good marriage is all about. Why are you crying? Because I'm such an idiot. I am about to lose everything I've ever wanted all because of something stupid I can't even remember. Look, querida, I won't run. I promise. How do I know I can trust you? Because last night, you told me you loved me. Let's see, Remington, Masterlock. Hey, Volkswagen Jetta, all right. OK, can you unlock us or not? Aye, pushy. It's been a long day. Here we go. <laughs> Sex hangers. Yeah. There you go. OK, this will only take a second. Be right here. I'm trusting you. Trust, remember? How much do I owe you? Carlos, please, man. You're your family. Oh, take the fewer handcuffs, though. Mess. Who the hell tore my flower girl angel wings? This dove looks lethargic. How the hell are we gonna release a lethargic dove? Are you getting any exercise? God, what evil. Claire! <clears throat> Hi. What the hell is going on? Brian? Oh my god, Melissa. You slept with the wedding planner? <laughs> my fiance screwed the wedding planner the day before our wedding? <laughs> Why are there not enough things in this room to break? Because you already smashed everything when you caught us last night. When I caught you last night? Yes. And look around. If I caught you last night, then why the hell are you still in bed together? I was upset. We were drunk. We must have, must have passed out. You don't remember any of this? Damn it! Honey, honey, I'm so, I'm so sorry. How the hell did this happen? Wait, you really don't remember any of this? No. Yesterday, I walked in on you during your last dress fitting. You saw me in my dress? Do you realize what bad luck that is? Yeah, I now I do. I sort of figured it out when you started tearing the place apart and ripping up the angel wings. I did that? Yeah. You called me a white trash wedding hack. Ouch. <laughs> True. But, ouch. I guess after two, maybe... Four bottles of tequila, Claire and I turned to each other for comfort. I mean, we had a lot of pent-up emotion. Your bride's villainess has been making our lives hell for two years. I had no idea I'd been that bad. We had an intervention. I thought that was an aggressive wedding shower. 
Anyway, you came back here later on, caught us, and you said the wedding was off. Um, I know this isn't the best time, but can I take a moment to say you have the best taste, and I hope this doesn't affect you giving me a letter of recommendation. Right, that time. Honey, can you forgive me? We can put this behind us. We can still have everything. Remember the house in Greenwich, the his and her beamers, the Springer Spaniel. And we can't, we can't throw everything away because of one mistake, can we? Honey, everybody's here. It's all in place. Your dream wedding has come true. Hey, just remember that original idea when we had when I first proposed that we love each other. We can't turn our backs on that. You're right, we all make mistakes. We can't throw it all away. We've spent so much time and money on making this wedding the best day of our lives. All the first step to a great life together. Okay, well, okay. <clears throat> see you at the rehearsal dinner. that woman yeah so one more round for old time's sake no right it's a bad time bad time Flowers. Yeah, look, girls, I don't really feel like talking about it. We don't have to talk. Just remember, I'm here if you need me. so sad and it frustrates me because last night we were so happy yeah, together well, today i found out why i married what i didn't remember is that i caught brian sleeping with the wedding partner. i married you out of revenge no 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 no, no, no. i could see you sleeping with me out of revenge but you're not married i'm a very vengeful person you keep telling yourself that. I know why I did what I did. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You will. Whatever. Let's just let's just get this over. With. Well, listen, did you start a fire? Of course not. <gasps> what if all the files burned up? Maybe we don't have to get an old after all. person would right like a guilty person not guilty right not guilty sorry you have to smile i have a pretty smile you have a guilty smile wait it's wrap hello give me the keys no way melissa vaya carro no no Make a right up here, it will take us out of town. <laughs> I think we made it! You had to chase us! Just follow. No 
way. Are you crazy? In Mexico, you are guilty until proven innocent. Touch yourself backwards. Just pull over. I'm a plan. That's scary. Just pull over. Say? They want us to get out of the jeep. What? Can we just explain that this whole thing was a mistake? Oh, I can cry. That always works back on. Melissa, I'm not saying that all Mexican cops are corrupt, but I can tell you that these guys are. Okay, so let's just get out of the jeep. Let me handle this. Okay, but what? Melissa, let me handle these. Hola, amigo. No problema. Buenas tardes. Hola. Eso está en mexicano, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? ¿De dónde viene? De aquí, de Acapulco. The tacos here are great. You know what I like? No, what? Americans. Oh, okay. Americans pay a lot of money to get out of jail. Jail? Mm -hmm. No, um, I can't go to jail. I'm getting married. I have 200 guests. And I have a very, very high-strung mother. So do I. That's what I became a cop. Oh, oh, oh God, God, I can't oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Why did you hit the car? He started it. Oh, we're going in the of my boat. What now? We go across. The water is brown. Senora Sanders, it's impossible. I can fix this by tomorrow. Conchita, nothing is impossible. Impossible is just possible with I am in front of it. I am possible. Think about it. No, damn it. I want tooth pearl white. Tooth pearl white. You understand? Like my teeth, not like yours. Okay? All right, look. I will double the price and get you a green card. Just get it done. <sighs> Mom, um, Minister Desmond wants to know what Brian and Melissa's vows are. No, I don't care about the stupid vows. Just think up some religious crap. Like, like, till death do they part, or and, and the, the eyes of the Lord, and Sodom and Gomorrah, and, the, and the, now you can kiss the... Bride who is ruining everything! Did you get all that? Where is Melissa? <sighs> Brian, how lovely to see you. Melissa, Brian's here. Tell him that I'm busy. 
Okay, I'll tell him. She says to tell you that she's busy. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to remind her we have tea with my parents. When? Right now, they're down in the restaurant waiting. When I saw her earlier, I was so flustered, I forgot. You saw her earlier? Was she um, unencumbered? What does that mean? Nothing. Can't a woman talk a little nonsense every now and then? Something to remember when you're married. <laughs> Edwin, can I talk to her? Brian. Please? I really don't think that... Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Okay. She's not here. Uh, uh, she, she went out to run some errands. What errands? Uh, gum, socks, Zoloft. It's very cheap down here. Oh, my gosh. She ran away. Hmm? Oh, this is because of last night, isn't it? I should have known she would have freaked out after I screwed the wedding planner. You screwed the wedding planner? But she didn't tell you? Of course she told me, you dumb bastard. I knew she really didn't forgive me. Now she's gone. No, she is not gone. She, she'll marry you if I have to staple her to the altar. Great! Oh. Oh. I have to go tell my parents the wedding's off. Vaginal rejuvenation. What? Vaginal rejuvenation. Uh, women do it all the time when, when they're feeling a little down, like like buying a new dress or or, or, or getting your hymen restored. It, it, it's a great lift for when you're feeling low. Oh my God, I drove her to this. Yes. Yes, you did. She, she said so specifically. Remember, when she was leaving, she said, Brian drove me to have vaginal rejuvenation. But, but you can make up for it by not telling anyone that she's going to do this because it would be very humiliating if it got out. What about two of my parents? So, Edwina, where is Melissa? I hope she's not getting cold feet. Oh, no. Not at all. Everything's fine. She's just having a last minute fitting. <coughs> Thanks. How much longer till we reach civilization? My feet are killing me. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you got your kickbox that caps pelotas. He was going to put us in jail. You had a better idea? Yes, I was going to bribe him. <laughs> With what? With my jeep. You would have done that for me. Yeah, well, I don't want to go to jail either. They got it anyway. Yeah, well, your Jeep, I mean, come on, it's like... <sighs> I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yeah. <laughs> For all that's happened today, it's not I'm sorry that I want, believe me. What do you mean? Ah, Melissa, you're so fixated on doing what you want, you're not even thinking about what you want. And you're hurting everyone in the process. What are you... What are you talking about? That's not even true. Really? When this whole thing is over, you get to go home with your new husband, and, and I'm stuck here dealing with the mess you made in my life. I won't forget everything, you know. That one, how can you forget when you can't even remember? Did it ever occur to you that maybe you're not one of those people who's supposed to fit into a plan? What are you talking about? You are too full of life. You're too spontaneous. I am not spontaneous. Oh, really? Really? I've lived here my whole life and never once have I been kicked at, shot at, and handcuffed before. I wonder what is going to happen next. Oh, my God! Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. We found a road. We found a road. Yeah, I think I know this road. Really? About 15 kilometers away is a village called San Marcos. 15? Yes, they have a courthouse there and a, a, and a lawyer's office. We can't get an home there. I'm never going to make it back in time. Don't worry. I'm sure another truck will come by and we can hitch a ride.
sure another truck will come by. Can I help you if the traffic was light today? See, just like I told you. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Hello? Hola. Hola, senorita. Um, do you speak English? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, thank God. Okay, we need to get our marriage and all. <laughs> No problem. You can make an appointment with my office tomorrow to file the paperwork. No, 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 no. I can't wait till tomorrow. I need it today, like, right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to give my brother a ride to the doctor. I'm leaving for the rest of the day. What? My office opens tomorrow no. at 8 a.m. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. I... Excuse me. I, I need your help now. Please. You can't leave. What are you doing? I'm supposed to be in my rehearsal dinner right now. I have walked a thousand miles to get here. If you don't help me, a lot of people are gonna die. That's a lie. But they're gonna be really upset. Is she always like this? This is nothing. Oh. Well, I, I can come back after my brother's appointment in about two hours. That's the best I can do. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no. I'm doing this for his sake, not yours. Mm -hmm. Now, will you please get off my car? Right. Sorry. <laughs> Viva la Mexico. Hey, two hours. This is great. My dinner's starting any minute. Is there a bus? Wait! Stop! I'm an American! Uh, Miss you, all right? Anyways, we're at least an hour's drive from the hotel. You would only make it in time to turn around and come back. My mom is going to kill me. She's not going to kill you. I'm going to kill her. Damn it! Damn it, it's so great that we're all together. <laughs> Mrs. Hunter, do you have a call? Oh. Hello? Mom, it's Melissa. Melissa, I, I, I can hardly hear you. I know, I'm on some crappy payphone. I'm in a town called San Marcos. I'm getting a note. San Marcos? When? Not for a couple hours. I'll be back then. That is totally unacceptable, young lady. If you miss your dinner, people will start to suspect something. Mom? Melissa! <sighs> It's all yours. Oh, I'm the third world! At least she's too far away to make it. At least we're getting annulled. By tonight, this homeless stick will be over. I mean... I mean, it's okay. Look, I, uh... I'll place around here where we can get cleaned up. Get something new here. Sure. As long as we're back in two hours. They got pizza? What happened to no carbs? Eh, screw it. Here's the deal. Melissa isn't going to be here for the dinner either. Did something go wrong with the vaginal rejuvenation? The truth is, this has nothing to do with her vagina. Could you please stop saying that word? Driven by your infidelity, Melissa went out and married a Mexican. A what? A Mexican that. Shh. She realizes that it was a mistake. And even though he's incredibly handsome and, from what I can tell, hung like a yak, she's out there right now risking her life to get it all annulled. My life is over. Nothing is over. No, it's over. All of it, all of the plans, the house, the, the babies, the, 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 the puppy, the uh, Saturday Night Scattergories parties. I mean, how do I handle this? You know, what do I tell people? How, how are people going to look at me, you know? Hello? Thanks for flying to Mexico. My fiance. She married one of the locals. Enjoy the gift bags. <laughs> Calm the hell down. The wedding is still on. But if word gets out that Melissa missed her dinner, then the gossip will start. And I don't think a promising young lawyer who wants to make partner wants it known that he boned his wedding planner. Melissa's not here. 
What, what, do we, what do we do? We use a vagina story? If you will stop whining, I have a plan. Carlos, this isn't a restaurant. This is somebody's house. I know. Mama! Mama? Ya llegamos. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo estás? Carlos, Melissa. ¡Qué sorpresa! Sí, ¿cómo va todo? Bien. Everybody, Carlos Baut, Melissa Gain. Así venga, venga. Adelante. You didn't tell us you were coming for dinner. It's a surprise. I'll say. I know. Maria, show Melissa where she can get clean it up and let her borrow one of your dresses. No, no, that's okay. I don't want to intrude. It looks like you guys are having a party. Don't be ridiculous. This is just a family dinner. Go with her, Maria. I want to thank you all for coming. I only wish Melissa's father was here to see this. It was always his dream that Melissa have the perfect wedding with the perfect rehearsal dinner. And now, let's raise our glasses to the bride and groom, Brian and Melissa. Brian and Melissa. Do it. So this wasn't a party. I was gonna say, uh, it's a small town. Word gets around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you planned this whole thing. Yeah. I planned for you to burn down a building, I saw the cop, and uh, get us lost in the jungle. Although I did maybe take advantage of the situation to get us here. That's not fair. Does this whole David fair to me? Mm. <laughs> What's that? Something about him, like. Me mata solo por placer. 
At least for the next hour or so. Carlos told you? See. Si. You're not upset? What can I do, mija? It's just good to see him smile. He broke my heart when he stopped visiting, stopped working on his art. He's an artist? You should go visit his studio out back. Maybe you'll remember. Or maybe you already have. Sure, I'm counting in cheap. I'm so sorry I didn't remember. You like them? Oh my God, they're beautiful. Your mother said you stopped coming here. Why? I mean, I'm sure you told me last night, but. It's uh, complicated. Well, if you can't talk to your wife, I mean, who can you talk to? Okay. About two years ago, I was engaged to my childhood sweetheart. Oh my God, you're a bigamist. Let me finish. She was sweet, you know, and smart, and beautiful. And our families were best friends. So they just assumed you'd get married? But I started to feel like something was missing. You know, like there was more to feel. Mm -hmm. So I tried harder to make it work. But two days before the invitations were supposed to go out, I freaked. You know, her family was furious, and my family was furious. And no one was talking to anyone, especially me. And I felt so guilty, disappointing everyone, just to hold on for something that might not even exist. And after a while, I started to think, maybe it doesn't. You know, I wasn't feeling inspired or happy or sad or anything for so long. And then I met you. When I see you, you proved me right. The same for you. I'm starting to remember what happened last night. When do you remember? How you made me feel. Mother? Not the eyes. How did you find us? It was easy. I just followed the aroma of illicit sex. 
Do you know how many towns there are within a 10 mile radius of here called San Marco? Seven. Seven. What is wrong with this country? They should spread you on toast and feed you to lonely women. And you, my virgin bride, get dressed. We're going to your wedding now. We can. We never got the annulment yesterday. Well, obviously. But it turns out that doesn't matter. What? I talked to our lawyers this morning, and uh, they told me that your wedding was never legal. What are you talking about? Well, when a Mexican national, that would be you, Mr. Sexy Pants, marries a foreigner, i.e. my info daughter, unless it is authenticated by an officer of the court, it just goes away. Did you have your wedding authenticated? I thought not. Then we're done here. So, yesterday, when I was burning down buildings and being chased by cops and alligators, I was single? As a dollar bill. Does that really matter? Melissa, Brian told me what he did. And of course you acted out. That's only natural. What? Are you really going to throw away your future life in Connecticut? Are you really going to give up your five-year plan? Maybe Carlos can fit into the plan. Uh, do you think Carlos would be comfortable sitting in the Greenwich Country Club, drinking Cosmopolitans with your sorority sisters? Mother, they're bitches. That may be, darling, but they're your bitches. They're the people that you socialize with. That's your life. And Brian is a part of that life. The one that you lived, and the one that you're going back to, right? I'll be in the taxi. So that's it, huh? Miss Society can't be with a Mexican? That is not it at all, and you know it. Then what is it, huh? What is making you walk out that door? Carlos, last night was amazing, but this whole thing has just been one great romantic setup. Hey, where's the history to back it up? Why does it matter? It matters because we're not in reality right now, and we haven't been since we met. I thought that is what made it special. I can't throw away my entire life's plan. Your plan is not you. It's the only way I know. I'm sorry. Her. Are you in love with him? I don't even know him. How could I love him? Why are you answering me with a question? Melissa, in two hours you're marrying Brian. Is this really what you want? I'm not looking. I didn't see your dress, I swear. I swear. Please don't smash anything. I don't care about the dress. Is this some kind of trick? 
Can I talk to you for a second? Of course. I just want to say I'm really sorry for everything I put you through. I mean, I've been a total bitch. Well, you haven't been a total bitch. Well, making me try 50 different wedding cakes while forcing me to lose 10 pounds is... It's kind of sadistic. You should have just been doing a napkin. That's what I did. Huh. Huh. So, here we are. Yep. Been engaged for all this time, and now we're about to get married. Yeah, I can't wait. Can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. What is it? Why? 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 Because we want a life together, honey. See, but that's it. I mean, do we want a life together or do we want each other? Did I miss something? All we talk about is what we're going to have and, you know, who we're going to be. What about just us? Whatever happened to that? Well, uh, maybe planning our lives has gotten in the way of that. I remember tomorrow, we're on a plane to feed you for our honeymoon. No family, no friends, no nothing. Just us. And a couple of fruity drinks and a white open beach. Yeah. I need to get back to the whole reason we're doing this in the first place. Because we love each other. Hmm? Hola, mijo. Hola. Where's your friend? Senorita is screaming my face. She's getting married. I thought you two were married. So did I. Her mother said it wasn't bad. It wasn't uh, authenticated. What does that mean? It means I have the tequila de las lomas. Uh -oh. I the whole bottle. You sure you want to do that? A guy like you. I'm kind of disappointed. You're giving up? Yeah. I need you to take me to Fairmont Hotel. Come to Fairmont Hotel, come on. Ah, it's the one who's got the first one. Yes, I know, I know. Let's go, let's go. Sweetheart, it's time. Like now? Don't worry, honey. Once you're out there in the moment, it'll all click. Oh, bro, we got company. What did you say? Tell me something, man. Is this really true love? Yes. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but I'm afraid the ceremony cannot go on. Would somebody please call security? Oh, why not? Yeah, why not? Because that's my wife. 
Oh. <laughs> and according to the fine print, we have 30 days to decide what's best for us. Within that 30 days, it would be illegal for her to marry anyone else. I am gonna castrate our lawyers. Melissa, I, th I thought you said this was over. I deserve that chance, don't I? Why, why are you looking at him? Look at me. Do you love me? Who are you? We have no idea who this is. He's obviously some deranged stalker who's trying to blackmail some rich American girl. Now give me that license before I knock you all the way to South America. Listen. Wait. Where do you think you're going? Hey, I go. Estás metido en un gran problema, amigo. Felicidades. Finally, take him away. No, wait. He's not a criminal. He's. He's my husband. Husband? Oh my God, Melissa, how could you? Can that be Atrix, Brian? You screwed the wedding plan. Score. Not bad. Look, I owe everyone an explanation. I have been so obsessed with planning my perfect wedding that I lost sight of what was really important. Us. I'm sorry, Brian, we were wrong. We wanted the perfect life more than we wanted each other. You want to know the truth? Yes. I married a stranger. And it was completely out of character and irrational. But you know what? It felt great. Because for the first time in a long time, I felt something passionate. Love isn't supposed to fit into some stupid plan. It's about giving yourself to someone and not looking back. It's about trust. The point is, I felt more alive with Carlos than I have in my entire life. <laughs> she is very tired. She has no idea what she's talking about. Shut up, mother. I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I remember why I married you. Why? Because I love you. your life without a plan. Mother, I swear to God, if you don't help her, I will make it my life's goal to marry a Mexican man, too. You wouldn't dare. Is there a Mexican man in the house? Oh, all right. Maybe there's another way that we can work this out. What will you take for your pain and suffering? Say, 2,000 per pelota? So be honest. Is all that stuff about the wedding license true? Trust, remember? Ha, ha, ha.